Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, I'm gonna walk through using the Twilio CLI to quickly build autopilot bots from a template. And we're also gonna be using the, uh, the Dabble Lab autopilot plugin for the Twilio CLI. So if you're familiar with uh, autopilot at all, if you've dabbled with it and you've used the, uh, the web console, you've uh, probably come across the templates that are there in the web console. So like the appointment scheduling and the customer satisfaction survey. And the FAQs, and, and you might also have noticed that these templates are all uh, front-end templates. So it's the uh, conversational user interface, but there isn't a, uh, a functional backend. It's sort of a um, static backend. And what we did was we created some templates that mirror these templates, except there's also a Twilio functions functional uh, backend that is ready to be modified or deployed by you and you can use all of that with the uh, the Twilio CLI and so you want to start by installing if you don't already have it installed and configuring the uh, the Twilio CLI and you can get to this by going to twilio.com slash CLI that'll redirect you here and you can install for whatever platform you're working on and then also you um, you want to uh, uh, make sure that you've got your credentials all set in it but again those instructions are all here once you've done that then you can just verify that the installation is uh, is done by doing Twilio version like that. And I'm using version 1.9.4 with node version 12.13. And after the uh, the CLI is configured, the next thing that you need to do is add the, uh, the Dabble Lab Autopilot plugin. And you can do that by just going Twilio and then plugins and then colon install and then at dabble lab like that and then forward slash plugin dash autopilot just like that and then when you run that that will install the autopilot plugin and it's to take just a second there we go and then once the installation is um, finished you want to just <clears throat> excuse me verify that everything installed and you can do that by going twilio and then autopilot like that and this is the command that's added and then if you just do dash dash help that will list all of the commands that are available from the autopilot plugin. And there are a lot of them. We're not going to be going through all of those today, but we are going to take a look at this one here, the uh, autopilot init command. And this is the one that will let you um, create a bot with a, a functional backend. And so you just do Twilio autopilot init like that. And it'll give you a list of the available templates. And again, the uh, the names for the templates are going to mirror the ones that are in the web console. But the difference is these templates are also going to include a, uh, a back end, so code for Twilio functions. So I'm going to just pick this first one here, the auto uh, appointment scheduling template. And when we run that, it'll create a new project folder, a local project folder. And it's this folder that got created here. And in that folder, there are two subfolders. There's a function folder and a model folder. And in the functions folder, if you look in there, you'll see there is a, uh, a Twilio function. And this is the functional back end for the, uh, the bot. And before I get into this, I am just going to, um, to, to show you, I'm gonna just deploy the bot and then we can uh, talk about this a, a bit more. So to deploy, you would just go into the project folder like I just did here and then do Twilio and then autopilot and then deploy just like that. And this is going to create a uh, serverless service in uh, Twilio and then push out the uh, function code to that service. And that is what's going on right now. And that takes just a, a second. And then when that finishes up, it also creates the autopilot bot, so that just finished. It's creating the uh, the autopilot bot right now and um, creating all of the uh, the tasks and samples and, and all of the um, different things that are gonna be used to, to train the autopilot bot model. And once that's finishing, or once that's finished up deploying, it'll also build the model and then we can uh, jump out into the, the web console and, uh, and test that out. Actually, we can test out from the uh, 
from the command line too. So you can do everything from the command line. I'll, I'll show you both just so you can see that. Um, so now that the, it looks like everything is done. If I go Twilio autopilot list, I should see this new bot there. There it is. So the appointment scheduling bot has been created. And if I copy that SID, there's another command. Twilio autopilot simulate. And then provide the SID and then dash T is the text that you want to provide. And I'll just say hello like that. And when I run that, it should get a response back. And here is the uh, the response, so we can verify that the bot is all working. And I'll show you that in the web console too, just so you can see that. Um, so if you go to your bots now, we can see that this appointment scheduling bot has been created. And in here, you can see all of the, uh, the tasks and, and samples and all that good stuff is in here. And if you look at any one of these tasks, if you go to program, you'll notice that it is redirecting to a Twilio function. And that function was also created by the uh, CLI plugin. And if we go to functions, we can see that there are right now there's two there are two kinds of functions. There's um, you see this warning here: functions and assets deployed uh, via the new API aren't available in the legacy functions editor, which is what we're looking at right now by default. And the plugin does use the uh, API, so we need to go down here to API to see that but you can't edit any of the functions here. So you would edit all of the uh, function code locally in your uh, autopilot project. But you can see that the, the back end has been deployed here. So um, if I go and uh, well, let's go back over to autopilot real quickly and take a look at um, the simulator here and we'll just see what this bot's doing. So if we go to the, the simulator here and I'll start with um, conversation and this is this template is uh, like an appointment scheduling so we'll say schedule an appointment and I'll say tomorrow and we'll say noon Um, and then the telephone number, so I'll say 813-123-4567. And so uh, right now we are, we've got a, like an appointment confirmation here. Let me show you where, what's happening in the code. So um, in the uh, function code here, if you look at the code, there is um, like a, a switch statement where each one of the, when the request comes in from autopilot, the, uh, the, the task, the current task is evaluated. And um, for each one of the, the tasks, so like greeting these, let's go back over here so you can see these tasks here. For each one of those, there's an associated um, function. And that function is the, uh, the handler code that does whatever with that request. So um, if we take like confirm, or is it? Is there a confirm? I thought it was confirm book appointment. I, I guess it's this one here, complete booking here. If we take a look at that function, we uh, can see what's happening here. Um, thanks, I've booked the appointment with the appointment ID and that's what we got from the simulator there. This would also be where you would uh, like persist the data to a backend or uh, check uh, a calendar or something like that. And as we build out the templates more, we are going to provide like complete turnkey templates that have like the back end wired up and all of that stuff. But for right now, it is uh, it's just the code. And if you wanted to uh, make any changes now, you would modify the code here, and then you would just go um, back to the, uh, the 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 command line and you would do Twilio, and then autopilot, and then deploy again, and that would deploy the uh, the changes. And you can change the, the, the front end of stuff like the tasks and all that by going in here into the model and then modifying the schema. And if you look at the schema, you'll see um, like each one of the tasks here, like here's the goodbye task. And um, 
the fields that are available and the samples and all of those, um, all of that stuff is in here. So you can literally do everything from your local development environment and deploy and update everything from the command line. So if you're working on a more complex spot where you need things like continuous integration and uh, continuous deployment, that kind of stuff, that's um, really the, the main reason we, we built this because of uh, some of the projects that we were working on or uh, were a little bit uh, more complex than we were able to stay on top of through the web console. But that is it for this. Um, uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let us know and um, keep an eye out for, for updates. We're trying to uh, um, push as, uh, as many new features as, as we have time to do. But if you have any suggestions, also let us know those too. Thanks so much.